Israel and the Palestinians, Facts and Myths. That's the title of an in-depth teaching that I recently gave. The whole world is focused on this relationship and we need to understand what has shaped this conflict. Here's some highlights from what I shared. Fact number one, the land is God's land. The land of Israel is God's land. For that matter, the whole earth is God's place, right? He alone can lay claim to every square inch of every country in the world. The earth, the psalmist said, is the Lord's, Psalm 24, and its fullness, or the fullness thereof. It all belongs to him. And because God created it all, God apportions different Lands, places, countries, borders to different people groups as he sees fit. In Acts chapter 17, Paul the Apostle stood up on Mars Hill, the Areopagus, and he said, God has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings. God reserves the right to put different people in different places. When it comes to this land that we're talking about, the land of Israel, the land of Canaan, God uniquely calls it his land, his inheritance. He says that several times in the Old Testament. In Leviticus 25, 23, the Lord gave this instruction, the land shall not be sold permanently for the land is mine for you are strangers and sojourners with me. Notice here, the Lord says the land that you are going to occupy, the land is mine. You are strangers and sojourners with me. So God, like our friend Sammy Smodja just said, we have the, the title deed is the Bible, and God has the title deed to that land. Because it is God's land, I think you will agree, if the Lord says the land is mine, and you believe God, so you believe that, then God has the right to do whatever he wants with the land that is his. 